Blow, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 7M. In Science, December 12, 1902, Dr. John Mason Clark writes that a strange-looking fish had been caught in Lake Onondaga, western New York, and had been taken to Syracuse. Here it was identified as a squid. Then a second specimen was caught. Whatever thoughts were trying to develop did not belong the way back in the Dark Age, or the other Dark Age, of the year 1902. Just where they do belong has not been decided yet, said Dr. Clark, with whatever reasoning abilities people had in the year 1902. There are salt springs near Lake Onondaga, so perhaps there is, in the lake, a substratum of salt water. The idea is that, for millions of years, there had been, in Lake Onondaga, ocean life down below, and freshwater things swimming around, overhead, and never mixing. Perhaps, by way of experiment, Dr. Clark put salt water and a herring in an aquarium, and then fresh water and a goldfish on top, and saw each fish keeping strictly to his own floor, which is the only way to get along as neighbors. Another scientist turned on his reasoning abilities. Professor Ortman of Princeton University examined one of the specimens, which according to him, was a short-finned squid of the North Atlantic, about 13 inches long. Professor Ortman reasoned that Atlantic fishermen use squid for bait. Very well. Then other fishermen may use squid for bait. So somebody may have sent for squid to go fishing in Lake Onondaga and may have lost a couple of live ones. This is the science that is opposing our own notions. But for all I know, it may be pretty good science. An existence that would produce such explainers might very well produce such fishermen. So perhaps fishermen of Lake Onondaga, with millions of worms around, sent several hundred miles for squid, for bait, and perhaps Atlantic fishermen, with millions of squid available, sent all the way to Lake Onondaga for worms. I've done foolisher, myself. It seems to me that there is something suggestive in the presence of large deposits of salt near this lake, but I have heard nothing of salt water in it. There's no telling about a story that was published in the New York Times, May 2nd, 1882, but if it could be accepted, here would be something worth thinking about, that a seal had been shot in Lake Onondaga. Some years before the appearance of the squid, another sea creature, a sargassum fish, had been caught in Lake Onondaga. It had been exhibited in Syracuse, according to Professor Harjet of Syracuse University, Science, New Series, Volume 17, page 114. It has to be thought that these things were strays. If they were indigenous and propagated, they'd be common.